So today I thought we might try to do a little bit of uh, web development using ChatGPT. I am not really a web developer, so this may go horribly wrong for reasons not related to ChatGPT. But um, let's see how it goes. So I want to try to make a website where you can, uh, that's basically like we, we will simulate that we're advertising something and that you can sign up and make a make a user. That's kind of like uh, a basic flow that you would want on many websites uh, and it's kind of non-trivial because it requires both a front end and a back end to handle the user authentication. And for the back end, I thought we might try to use uh, Firebase by Google um because it's supposed to be quite easy we don't have to spin up a server or anything like that so let's see what we can get chat gpt to do um please help me build a website the website should advertise um let's say um Rocket trips to uh, uh, low Earth orbit. Uh, it should be possible to um, sign up on the website. The user authentication should be handled by Firebase. And I will see you once uh, ChatGPT is done. Okay, here we go. So, building a website involves several steps. Below is a high level overview of the process, assuming a basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So, it's it, first of all, it wants to build the site in like basic HTML and JavaScript, which uh, I am not totally against uh, I guess that should be fine uh, let's try that maybe in another video we'll try to get it to use uh, react or react with next or something but um, so let's let's create these files there we go um, and now create the HTML structure, open index HTML and set up the basic structure of the HTML document doc type. There's, so there's a lot of these tags. Um, uh, so there's a lot of stuff here. Let's try to automate that. Um, can you show me how to do step two? Because it's kind of like Uh, like a very standard thing we shouldn't we shouldn't necessarily have to do that okay so here we go here is uh, kind of a nice setup uh, it sets the doc type it imports uh, things we want like the style sheets and these firebase scripts and our own script it sets up some navigation here you can see it has a nav element there's a bunch of different sections so let's try to see how, let me zoom out just slightly. Let's try to see how that looks. Okay, so here it is, and this is kind of like the the phone format, which is a good good place to start. It's not uh, looking uh, great. So, for example, it's suggesting here also you can customize the the appearance by modifying the SSS, uh, CSS rules. So let's try try that. Um, can you make the the sections look better? Just let, let's try that. It's very vague, but let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. So let's 
uh, undo that. Go in here. Let's see what that did. So it already looks a lot better. Let me go into index and see here. Okay, so we, we need an image and I have something, I have a duck. Let's use the duck. And evidently it also wants it here. Let's see what happens. Now we have the duck. And if we click these, it like jumps us around. It's not still not great. But uh, it's a start. So let's have a look at the sign up thing. Uh, still okay anyway so let's let's go with this for now I mean the the design is kind of horrible but but uh, it's a start I'm really I don't like this duck but anyway set up firebase I will go and do that okay so I'm in the process of initializing uh, firebase so i've enabled authentication and now this which is here step one and now they want us to use something called firebase ui which is like easily at i chose the like the most uh, out of the box thing i could could find so i've added this uh, script and link to my header to my head tag and now we should initialize it and Let's put this thing over here like so. So that should happen in the script. I wonder if this will work. Like I guess, I guess we'll have to try it. So let's reload the page. Let's F12, see what happens. Import declarations. Uh, interesting that there are complaints here. Maybe I just get rid of those for now. And let's uh, have the page again. Reload it. So Firebase is not defined, which could be because uh, uh, main was loaded before. Let's try again. No, so that also did not work. Okay, so I've done a couple of things. First of, instead of just using, uh, let's call it raw, JavaScript, I'm using npm uh, to handle packages and um, Webpack to build it. So I basically followed a guide that I found here using module, bund module bundlers with Firebase. Then I've also done this thing. I've created uh, the project. I already did that. Then I've registered the app. That gave me some configuration information, which I'll not show you because it contains like my API key and whatnot. Uh, but it's uh, some some configuration information, and then I followed this thing to initialize the app, and then I went over here, getting started with Firebase authentication. I went away from this Firebase UI, could not get it to work. So now I just do this basic thing. Now, the form, uh, if you remember, there's a form which on the website looks like this. And 
uh, I get it here, get element by ID, sign up form. Then I have a handler for when you submit and it gets the email, a password, and then it calls this Firebase function create with email and password. And then it, uh, if it succeeds, um, then it prints uh, user success successfully created. We, we can also add a catch which will print something like uh, error creating user and let's just leave it at that and I forgot this okay so now we have that then because we use this thing we have to we of course we use webpack we have to build it again now let's see what happens. I reload the website. Let's check the console. Nothing went wrong. Then we'll make a test user. Don't save. And it successfully created the user. And we can see here, if I go into my authentication management, I now have a user. Um, I registered on this email and yeah, that's it. That's pretty cool. So another thing I had to ask ChatGPT because I'm not a web developer, as I said, is how can I run a function when the signup form is submitted? And then it basically gave me uh, this code. Uh, this code, let's see. Yeah, basically. And So, I don't know what's left here. Obviously, if you want a real website, you want to improve the styling. I guess we could try to do that with ChatGPT, but, uh, but maybe that's for another video. Then you could... Uh, you would have to improve this writing here, which you could also do with ChatGPT. You would have to actually, like if a user logs in, you want to do something with that, maybe send them, send them advertisements or whatnot. I don't know if you can do that with Firebase. Um, but yeah, we have, we have a basic setup. Um, the main problem with what ChatGPT outputted was that we couldn't use just basic JavaScript. I really had to use NPM and, uh, and a bundler to get it to work because you have to import this. And I don't know, maybe it's just that I don't know how JavaScript works, but I had to use NPM to get this stuff in. In any way, in a real project, probably you would use React or something. So then it's all, it's all a moot point. Uh, I skipped a lot of these steps because, well, we already did it kind of. So, right, implement the sign-up functionality, add user state management. So that is something we could try another time. And uh, yeah, I mean, we basically have a working website now with ChatGPT. So uh, that's it for this time. See you on the next one.